So we just checked into our room at the Trevi Palace Luxury Inn. And so far so good. I'm actually really impressed with, here's just the bathroom, kind of boring. Anyways, I'm really impressed with this room. Got like a bigger bed than I expected. Like I'm pretty sure it's a king. And then down here, this room is huge. Yeah, I'm not sure if we got upgraded or something because I just booked a regular room, but this room feels really big. And then another bathroom. I'm not complaining about the extra space though. Look at this view from this window down here. I just think it's so cool. Hence the name, we're right next to the Trevi Fountain. So I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. Then coming back up here, I wanted to show you the best part of this space that I also didn't know we were getting, and that is a whole like rooftop patio um, to enjoy. So I'm going to show you that right now. So excited about this place. I think we really lucked out with the hotel that we picked. But yeah, we are really tired currently. We had a extremely long travel day. I've never ran for a plane before and I've never particularly wanted to. And we had to run for our um, connecting flight today. So it's all good though. We are here in Rome. Everything is good. I am really excited. Right now we are probably just going to rest up a little, I'd say, um, rest up and then walk around for the rest of the night. We are really tired. I think Tanner got like a half hour of sleep and maybe I got like one hour of sleep on an eight hour flight. Surprisingly, it went pretty fast for me. And other than running for our connecting flight, it was all fairly smooth. Um, we did walk on like miles of cobblestone to get here, but again, it's all good. But yeah, I think we are gonna go out now, get something to eat, rest up a little bit before then. Um, yeah, and enjoy the rest of our night. I will check in with you guys later. the little quirks of of our <laughs> hotel so that controls the electricity this is five seconds later and all of the electricity is off and then when you put the room key card back in it registers and it turns everything on and I've just never seen something like that <laughs> Good morning. It is our first official day in Rome, so I'm really excited. It's raining right now, but I think it's like just about to stop. Yesterday was super hectic and crazy with the eight hour travel and the six hour time change. So we didn't do too much. I think both of us felt like really weird and kind of tired. Did go out to eat. Um, we saw the Trevi Fountain, but other than that, I got like 12 hours of sleep. I slept from like eight to eight. It was really wild. I am awake and well rested. In a few hours, we have a Coliseum tour. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna live out my Lizzie McGuire fantasy today. And if you see me looking over here, I'm just slipping out the window and like checking out the weather. For some reason, there's like a massive window in our bathroom. It's frosted, 
so nobody can see anything but still but yeah that is what we are up to today um just the tour and then we are going to walk to the coliseum walk back home and just explore i have already prepared myself to get band-aids from the pharmacy i brought my white converse um high tops i don't think they're the most incredible walking shoes but i have seen a lot of people wearing them so at least I don't feel super out of place. That is all we have planned for today, so I am gonna take you guys with me. just got back from our Coliseum tour and we are about to go eat. Coliseum tour was like most of the day. Yeah, we are really exhausted. I think we're just gonna get some dinner. We just ate gelato, but obviously that wasn't enough to fill us. So we are going to get something to eat. And then tomorrow we have an early morning as well. We are going to Positano. So we have to wake up early then. But yeah, going out now. I got my <laughs> red like button down shirt from um, Target. I thought it was really cute. I'm gonna wear it as a beach cover up in Positano as well. And then my gold chains are from Madewell, if you can see them. I have so much jewelry. They're what I wear like every vacation pretty much. <laughs> and then I'm just wearing this black casual dress from um, Adore Me that I've had that's been honestly perfect for this trip. It's kind of like my um, go-to. So yeah, we will probably be having an early night again, but we'll see. It is officially day two. We just got back from taking photos at the Trevi Fountain. We went at like 7.30 a.m. and there was still like so many people there. But yeah, today we are about to go to Positano. We're gonna take a high-speed train to Salerno and then from Salerno, we're gonna take a ferry Fight. to Positano. Hopefully there's no issues with the ferries I've heard. It's been crazy weather in Sorrento. So yeah, come with me on this really long journey today. I don't even know how to go about this update, but we left Rome at 9.15 this morning and it is currently four and we just made it to our hotel room in Positano. It is absolutely beautiful. It took forever to get here to like put it to put it like lightly. We took a train to Salerno and then from Salerno we had to take a bus. I had ferry tickets, um, but the ferries currently, the weather's kind of been bad. So the, fe uh, the ferries aren't working. Um, so we had to take a bus to Amalfi and then from Amalfi we had to get like a random taxi that we found here to Positano. So it's been quite a journey. I feel like it's taken us like seven hours just to get here, but finally here, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Let me show you the room. You walk in, that view is just stunning. And then here is our bathroom tub, two sinks. I really think it's 
I really think it's so nice. And the receptionist here was so nice. We're staying at Hotel Lancora, if that's how you say it. Oh God, that's so cute. I hope I'm saying it correctly. We're staying at Hotel Lancora. Yeah, the receptionist was super helpful, super nice with figuring everything out. Here is our bed, TV, everything, dresser, suitcases. If you hear, strange noises those are my shoes by the way i've walked a lot in these babies so and then here is our balcony with our view i opened up my aperture so you can get the full experience there's tanner he's very tired we're both extremely tired yeah look at this view i feel like it doesn't get any better than that i'm really happy to be here <laughs> Like I said, quite the journey on the way here. Um, I definitely thought it would be a lot quicker than that. I thought I was being super smart and like, oh, we'll just take the train and then we'll take the ferry. But when none of the ferries are working and there's very few buses because so many people are coming here, it doesn't really work that way. So yeah, we're finally here and we're just gonna relax and probably go out to eat and maybe walk the beach. Local people also said that it's been pretty like bad weather wise here. Yeah, this is like actually a really nice day and it's looking to be a really nice couple days, which is when we're here. So yeah, fingers crossed for that. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you later. Good morning, it is our first full day in Positano and it is absolutely beautiful outside, but unfortunately our boat tour got canceled. Like I said yesterday, none of the ferries are running, but it's so beautiful out today and I'm seeing all these other ferries and boats running, so not sure why. I'm not sure why ours specifically got canceled. Yeah, we're gonna try and find another one and head to the beach. Looks good. That's very scary. <laughs> I literally thought this was regular water. <laughs> sparkling, but it's not sparkling like how you would think. It's sparkling like gross. <laughs> Peat water. <laughs> I think it's latte. Is aqua mineral? I think I'm looking for aqua natural. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? I know it's tuna, but it, it says chicken. I think that's what I was supposed to be looking for. I thought that said aqua natural, but just want to acknowledge how many boats are out on the water. Well, ours canceled. It's totally fine. Totally not mad about it. She gave it to me. Last morning in Positano, we are. Um, well, first we ate breakfast at Casa y Bottega. That was one of the few restaurants I wanted to check out. And now we are about to head down with our luggage that we barely, like we stuffed both of these luggages. I'm not sure how we brought all this stuff. Um, we are headed down to our ferry because they're actually running today, thankfully. So there's not any craziness with transportation. Um, go to the train station from there and then head back to Rome. So I'm actually excited to be back in Rome. I feel like everything, it's beautiful here, but everything's so 
much more central there and I just feel, I don't know, like a little more free if that makes sense. I will catch you later. Just got into our second Rome hotel, the Colonna Palace, and we had a pretty crazy train ride ferry to get back here. It's really nice though, and yeah, we're not too far from where we were, and then this is our view. I don't know what this building is. It's really pretty, and we're right near, um, the center of Rome. Yeah, super pretty. I'm really happy with it. Dude, how'd they even get the bird in here? I don't know. Uh, I bet you guys are like We not meet long. again. We meet again. Coins. Where are Si, c'è il carpentini di Indiana? Si, dammelo. No, no, non vedo. Il piatto non c'è?